Hey guys, this here is my 2021 Yamaha XT250 and today I'm going to be showing you where the VIN number is located, also known as a vehicle identification number, the engine serial number, and the key identification number. So let's start with the engine serial number. Uh, note, this is not your VIN number, this is just a number unique to your engine. If you go ahead and come to the right side of the bike and then down here where the engine is, it's stamped onto the crankcase. And if you look here, there's a number that's embedded here. Obviously, I'm not going to show mine, but along this top flat surface, this is where the number is. All right, next I'm going to show you where the VIN number is located. So if you come to the bike here, uh, make sure your steering column is unlocked. Twist the handlebars to the left side. And then if you come down here, you actually kind of have to move these hoses out of the way. As you can see, it's kind of stamped here with a little plastic sticker over it. And if you just follow this down, that'll reveal your VIN number. All right, and if you have your original owner's manual, uh, this here is page 10-1. This is where you can get all that information that I just showed you. But the last thing I wanted to show you was the key identification number. Uh, basically what this number is, you can give this number to Yamaha. If you ever, I guess, altogether lose your key, that way you don't have to rekey the ignition. And then from there, they can go ahead and create a new key without having a master key. And the reason this is good is because one, if you lose your keys altogether, you don't have to have it like rekeyed. And then two, instead of making a copy of a key, if you think about it, every copy of a key is going to be slightly off. Even though it's just going to be probably like by nanometers, um, it does definitely wear down the teeth as well as the stuff on the inside. So it's good just to have an exact replica of the original. And that's what this key identification number will do. So uh, if you bought the motorcycle new or uh, if the other person took really good care of it, it should have given you a spare key. It looks just like this. Then on it, it has this little... Uh, piece of metal. I'm not going to show my number, but on the back side there's a number stamped into this little keychain and that will have your key identification number. And one last tip I want to share with you, uh, when your bike is brand new, uh, it wouldn't be a bad idea to write all your values here like your key identification number, your model label information, your engine serial number, your VIN number, um, just as a reference, because, you know, in 20 years when you still have the bike and you're looking for it, if you're able to find the manual, you can often find these pieces of information that may be worn off if they were on stickers or scraped off if they were on metal surfaces. Um, you just never know.